everybody and welcome to another Flaming Dice Reviews video. My name is Matt and today we're going to be taking a look at Sushi Go, a fun, portable, quick little card drafting game with a sushi theme. Incidentally, Sushi Go is the first game in the Flaming Dice Reviews board game giveaway. So if you are viewing this video shortly after it goes up, i.e. about two days after it goes up, then it's not too late to get in on the giveaway. If it's well after two days after this video goes up, don't worry, we're going to be giving away lots of games. So check out FlamingDiceReviews.com and our Flaming Dice Reviews Facebook page for more. We're going to take a look at what comes inside of Sushi Go now and give a little bit of details about how it plays, just a little, and then we're going to meet back here for my final thoughts. I'll see you then. There's not a whole lot of fuss with Sushi Go. Sushi Go is the epitome of a small uh, portable filler game. Uh, it's a drafting game, so there's not a whole lot uh, inside of the box, but it doesn't have to be. The, get, the box is very small, very pretty, and it is a collectible tin with a little divider for the cards. You have the cards themselves, there's a good many of them, and then your rule book, and that's all there is to it. Sushi Go is an incredibly easy game, both to play and to teach. So we're going to run over how you play very, very briefly, and we're not going to go into a whole lot of detail. Just know that the game is played in three rounds, and in a five-player game, a player starts with seven cards. The player will choose one of their cards and play it face down in front of them. They will then take their six cards that they started with, and again, that can change with the number of players, and pass them to the player on their left. Once everybody has done so, they will reveal the card that they chose. The players will then take the new cards that they've received from that earlier passing and choose from the remaining six. And they'll do the same thing. They'll choose a card, lay it face down, pass the cards to the player on their left. The player on their right will do the same. Now we're down to five cards. The player will look at these cards, choose one, oh, excuse me. We forgot to reveal last time. After everybody's passed, you reveal a card. So now fast forward again. Now we're up to five cards. We choose one, play it face down, pass, reveal, repeat. And you do this until each player has their hand of cards or their final hand of cards. At the end of the round, the cards are tallied up based on how the different cards are scored. And that's done three times. The game is played in three rounds. And we're just going to go over very briefly what some of the cards do. In Sushi Go, scoring is done at the end of each of the three rounds, and then those scores are combined together. So let's take a look at a couple of the cards. Here we have uh, Sashimi. Now Sashimi only scores if during a single round a player gets three of them. So at the end of the round, if you're just left with one Sashimi or two Sashimis, you don't score anything. However, if you manage to to complete a set of three sashimi, you get 10 points. Puddings are not scored at the end of the round, but are instead are scored at the end of the game. Uh, the player who has the most gets six points. The player who has the least loses six points. So that adds to that, do I play for now or do I play for later aspect that I really enjoy. Uh, dumplings, they score based on the number of dumplings that you end up with and the score sort of multiplies. Uh, maki rolls, the player with the most at the end of each round gets six points. Second most gets three points. Tempura. Tempura is a lot like uh, sashimi, except you only have to get two of them. So all of these cards, you're trying to draft based on how you think or how many sets you think you can complete. And again, the player with the most points at the end of the game wins. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, now that we've seen a little bit about Sushi Go and how it plays and what comes inside of this beautiful little tin, let's talk about my final thoughts. Uh, I really, really enjoyed Sushi Go, and I didn't think I would. Uh, the theme is a little bit off-putting. Hey, let's play a game about making sushi, but then we don't get to eat sushi. I just don't know who that's supposed to appeal to. However, with that being said, the game is super fun, and if you can convince somebody to play it, they'll have a lot of fun too. Uh, the game is super easy to learn, it's super easy to teach, 
there's only a couple cards that can trip somebody up whenever you're trying to teach them the rules, and that's the chopsticks and the pudding, but it normally isn't that big a deal. They'll catch on after a game or two. Uh, Sushi Go is a drafting game, so I really enjoy drafting mechanics. So Sushi Go automatically got some points in my book uh, when I found out that it was a drafting game. So I, I, enjoy, I enjoy that aspect of the game a lot, even though it's a cute little card game with cutesy artwork. It really has a lot of strategic value. Way more than you would expect from a game that looked like this and has sushi as the theme. Uh, the game comes in this beautiful, well-made little tin and it has the embossed top on it. So it's a nice little, uh, little carrying case for it. The game, speaking of carrying it, the game's very portable. It's very easy to set up. So those are just some of the things that I really like about Sushi Go. Uh, some of the things that I don't like, I've already mentioned. The theme sounds a little bit off-putting. It's hard to get somebody to play a sushi game or get into it. It's not like it's a, a game about spaceships and your sci-fi sci friends will like it, or it's a game with really cool uh, wizard miniatures and your fantasy friends will like it. It's, it's hard to. It's hard. It's a hard sell. But with the game being inexpensive and fast and easy, it's really not too bad. Uh, the cards are actually made of a pretty good quality. But I believe because of the color, the red on the cards, they show damage very easily. Not a huge deal, but still. Well, I ran Sushi Go through our Flaming Dice Review scoring system, and Sushi Go got, Sushi Go got an 88 out of 100, and 85 out of 100 being your standard run-of-the-mill good go-to game. So Sushi Go scored an above-average score. If you like this video, please be sure to go to our website at www.flamingdicereviews.com and our Facebook page, which is just Flaming Dice Reviews on Facebook. Uh, give us a like below and subscribe to the channel. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we are starting our board game giveaways, Sushi Go being the first game in the giveaway. Now, if you're not seeing this video shortly after it's posting, then it might be too late for this version of Sushi Go, but we might be doing it again in the future, and we'll certainly be doing other games. Well, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.